Good morning. Hi, I'm Hung, and this is Regina, and together we are DataX. Um, we are a digital studio dedicated to bring you products that care for information transparency. And so this social venture kind of um, emerged from my research um, about online tracking and online privacy. And I'm very happy that I found a collaborator who is as passionate about that space as I am. Um, and she's also a very good and better uh, public speaker than I am. So I'm going to let her um, tell our story. Yeah, no, the truth is the only reason Hong brought me on is because I love to talk about myself. So we're a digital studio. We sit at the intersection of data, society, and education. Um, as Hong mentioned, we're both students at Parsons Design and Technology. Hong is a Fulbright Scholar, and I've worked at some of the most um, prestigious institutions in the world. So we are a great team, we collaborate well together, and we bring a great set of skills. So what is DataX? What do we do? We, we work across the pipeline of, of, of work, right? We're doing research around data privacy, we're doing data analysis, we're doing algorithmic, algorithm development, and of course we're doing design to bring products to market. So what do we believe in? We believe in ins information transparency, online consumer protection, and a democratized internet. So we envision DataX providing a whole suite of products around these ideas of data and society and culture. But where we started in our combine journey was with Data Selfie. Data Selfie targets education. It targets schools, particularly middle schools, um, and it's a, teaching, it's a teaching tool, it's a platform to teach middle school students about data privacy. And we also want to work with university researchers. These are people who spend their entire careers developing the algorithms that shape our lives, and we want to partner with them. So we want to show you our combine journey in a beautiful video that Hung created. Every day, we share so much of ourselves, voluntarily. It can be quite addictive. Endless information, entertainment, and social interaction. It's a complex world of big data. While you're on social media, you share a lot more than you know. Every move you make is recorded. That might confuse you, so we want to help you by giving you your data back to empower you. But who are we? This is Hong, and this is me, Regina. And we connected right away over the love for coding and data. But we think it's a problem if your data and your data and your data benefit companies, but not you. So what if you could track what Facebook tracks of you? What if you could know what Instagram knows about you? What if you could see how YouTube uses data to target you? Hong created a browser extension called Data Selfie to allow users to track themselves while on Facebook. And she wanted me to join her to bring Data Selfie to market. Our three month journey of customer discovery started with everyday consumers and experts in the media industry. We learned that most people know that they are being tracked, but they don't know what is tracked. And most people don't know what can be inferred from their data. Everyone is curious to try it out, but the vast majority are not willing to pay. But Parents are passionate about their kids having this kind of education and are willing to pay for it. We talked to teachers and school administrators and found out that they want data selfie in their classroom. So we user tested our prototype with middle school students like Eve. Based on a compilation of all this information, it's terrifying. It's also really interesting because you can see, is that right? Am I really, do I really like to buy healthy food? Um, so on some level, I think I, I would get the app just to see if they're right, but also it's an awareness that you want to have. Like what do I, what does my uh, social media usage say about me? Data Selfie is an app to make people reevaluate their relationship to the data they share and leave behind. Join us in our journey. Take your Data Selfie. Right. So. Data selfie is, as you've seen in the video, a way for you to track yourself. So we've, based on our 124 customer interviews through the time of Combine, 
We, just, we learned that customers use mobile and they want to see this aggregated across their social media platforms. So not just Facebook, but their Instagram, their Snapchat, their Tumblr. So we provide insights in three main categories. One is your online usage, what you like, what you post, what you comment on but also your online consumption. See, most people don't understand that Facebook and Tumblr and Instagram, they're tracking you when you scroll. If you watch a video but you don't necessarily like it, they see how long you've lingered on the video, and they can use that insight to gather information about your personality. So if I, if I click on the prediction button of our app and data selfie, I can see the aggregation of all my data that's being piped through machine learning algorithms to come up with analysis about who I am. Now, in the classroom with middle school students, we can use these tools to educate them about data privacy. If you're in a computer science class, you can, a teacher could use this to talk about machine learning. We, can, we also show trends, so you can kind of compare yourself to your friends. Classrooms could have competitions with each other. Um, the ed tech space is a growing business, right? Some estimates put it at over $8 billion. And the learning games industry is right now at about $1.5 billion and slated to grow to two by 2017. Smart classrooms are on the rise, and an example of that is Avenues the World School that's just down the street in Chelsea. Avenues is a cutting-edge school that uses digital curriculum as part of its core curriculum. Why? Because we're living in a digital age, and digital citizenship is important. So they have Tech Thursdays, where once a week, every week, they talk to their kids about being a digital citizenship. They use the common sense curriculum, and we believe that data, data selfie could fit right in there. Where? In the privacy space, and in talking to kids about their digital footprint. So you saw Eve on our video. She's a 13-year-old seventh grader, and her mom, Eve. So we want to talk to you about our sort of their user journey, right? So Eve would download or purchase the app for her or give her permission, permission to do it. And then Eve would use her social media like she always does, but with data selfie running in the background. And then when she's in her digital citizenship class with her teacher, Mr. Park, they would use the data that data selfie provides to have conversations about what it means to be a digital citizenship. Mr. Park would have targeted lessons about particular aspects of the, of the data. So data selfie, it's an app. Are we going to make a business out of this? No. But we believe that there is a lot of room here and future for growth. We want to partner with governments and corporations, but corporations who believe in doing well while doing good. We have an aggressive timeline to bring Data X to market with our first launch of Data Selfie. We're applying to an NYC incubator, and we want to start funding because we believe in data transparency. And over the next six months, we'll be working very hard to bring Data Selfie to market and to the first classroom launch in, in Avenues. Um, in the next nine months, we hope to have new partners to start working on our new projects. And if that's you, we would love to talk to you. Thank you so much.